Well, a week into pre-season now, and uh, it's this, the first of the Friday challenges, and the boys are having a, a bit of a, a bit of fun, but uh, also working extremely hard today. Yeah, it's a it's a very important day for us. You know, the guys, and when they work in their teams, they figure out problems. You know, they've got to get through it together, um, and it builds great team teamwork and teamship. So um, that, that's vital for us through the season. We're a close net team and a squad, so um, getting this sort of practice in, uh, as well as the conditioning side of things, is fantastic at this stage. Of the, stage of the season. One weekend, you've got eight uh, new signings here. How, how's everyone settling in, and is it back into the old routine already straight away? Yeah, it's good. No, see the see these guys turn up. We've obviously uh, seen a lot of footage on the on the tape, but to actually get to work with them um, and hopefully start to improve them, but also them buying into the, the, the team culture and the club culture here. So um, they've they've dropped in. They're, they're enjoying it. They're, they're you know they've been worked hard and they uh, and they're obviously tired and fatigued at the minute but uh, they're coming through it strong. Like for any club pre-seasons when you land, lay your foundations for a, for a season and that and this is where even for you guys as coaches you've got to lay your marker down and, and, and show what you want from the, the campaign. Yeah it's important I mean we stick together as a team on the staff side of things so um, obviously the coaches uh, on the rugby side of things we're getting we're getting some valuable work put in place but it's really the conditioners that have, uh, have ramped it up and really organised this uh, pre-season and, and to be fair to them you know there's a new team in there and they're, they're stretching the guys and they're pushing the guys all the way so uh, that's great to see they're, get, they're getting their stuff done but equally uh, we've obviously got one eye on the rugby as well fixtures are out next week and uh, then it will become even more real for you but this is a massive year for the club it is huge I mean there'll be a level of expectation I guess but um, uh, we, we'll just treat it as we have done every season you know we'll work to um, improve improve the things we, we can um, you know not look too far ahead and just literally concentrate on what we've got in front of us now and as I say the guys working hard at the minute uh, that's all they're focused on and they're putting into a, a, you know a good shift there we talked to Rob last week he said as well how excited it is for you as coaches it's, it's new challenges for you especially with the Heineken Cup yeah it's brilliant I mean that's where ultimately where every every coach every player wants to be um, on, on the club scene you know um, so you know that's important to us we're happy uh, with where we are but we've got a lot of work ahead um, uh, but we'll crack on with that and, and as I say um, it'll be exciting times when those um, when the actual fixtures do come out Rob also said about over the second half of the season you've looked back at that uh, a lot of video from that and look to expand your game a bit more because you, you did switch there for a time it was probably the sale home game here where you, you found a new lease of life almost yeah it was just doing about encouraging the guys really they've had that game in them um, right through the you know the last season and you know particularly the start of last season we started very well playing some good rugby so uh, we've obviously looked at what we, what we did we, we've found areas we can improve so um, hopefully we can make those adjustments over the over the off season and come back a better team thank you, thank you.